When I was 22, I went to the Mississippi Delta to become a teacher. That's when I met a 15-year-old kid named Patrick. You're not supposed to have favorites as a teacher, but I did. He was just so bright, really quiet, never bothered other students, didn't bully them. He just really grew in my classroom. What do you say, Patrick? Yeah. Watch your seat. Two years after I left the Delta, I found out that Patrick had gotten into a fight and killed someone. So I decided to go back. The book is a lot about how we spend seven months in the Phillips County Jail just reading and writing. We read so many books. The Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe, Frederick Douglass, James Baldwin. We read a lot of poems, he memorizes them. And Patrick started writing these extraordinary letters to his daughter, who was at that time one year old. One thing I really hope readers think about is the kinds of personal connections we try to make with people. What is a connection made of when two people have incredible inequality between them? Patrick and I come together in the classroom, and as we both grow older, the inequality grows. And one of the questions I really grapple with in the book is, can you still create spaces where truth and beauty connect you, where you share a similar love of, of words and poetry and stories? And can those things sustain us? Do they matter at all if, if the inequality remains? <laughs>